top of the morning to you laddies. My name is Ebrand Man Buck. Welcome back to the homeowner series. We got a handful of stuff we got to do today as usual. Just taking a nice little morning sit on the porch swing down here since we finally got the mulch pad done for it down here. Uh, the results are in from the poll. I put a poll up in the community post that you guys were allowed to vote with for the past two days I think. I think I was supposed to let it run for a day but then I kind of forgot about it so anything we got more votes in more perspectives. By popular vote, and I'm going to change this a little bit, and yes, you can be mad at me all you want, but this is a matter of, and it comes down to the content standpoint, the results are going to basically have one really long, possibly gets boring video, and then one really short and undetailed video. So we're going to split this up into by combination, and there were very specific combinations I saw. By popular vote, Option D, and this was all decided by seven points. You guys kept this really, really close. Option D, which was we we're going to build the garden out here. That one scored the most at 39 votes. The next one up was option A at 35, and that is the gravel path to the back quonset. Option B scored third with 33 votes, which is taking the charger to go get the uh, issues fixed with it, with it being the carburetor and the brake job. And lastly, by one slight vote, option C with buying the ATV sprayer scored 32. So, what we're going to do is by combination scoring, I saw more A and C's and B and D's. Like, that was the biggest one that I saw. And B and D, by rule, has the win because they have more overall votes. So for the first part here, this technically be a two-part episode, not even really two-part, but two-part. We'll do a B and D first, so we're going to go and get the charger fixed as well as build the garden. And right now it's the morning and it's supposed to be really hot today, so we're going to do the charger first. And then we're going to go and get the uh, garden built. And then we will just kind of go accordingly. The next video will be, of course, building the gravel path and doing all the work. My buddy uh, Andreas has my Ford right now. He had to do a long distance travel this uh, week going down to uh, Missouri. He had to go pick something up, but his clapped out Ford Ranger that needs its differential place like yesterday is not going to be able to make the trip. So I let him use that while I was at it, and I have to get the clutch replaced in this truck anyway. So we're going to head down to my longtime friend Jeremiah's shop. We'll probably get the Dodge with the transmission done first so I can run some errands in town. Or if I'm going to help, I'll probably help him out with the Charger at least. Up, oh, might be a good idea to go in reverse. But we're going to help him out at least. I'm going to probably go grab some breakfast while he gets the clutch on this truck done. But we're going to take the Feeling Tilt deck. We'll load up the Charger. I'm not sure. Like I said, it's, it's back brakes. They're... They're not locked, locked up, but it's really hard to get the car moving. It can move under its own power, but it just needs to get that tune-up work done if I want it to anything to run somewhat decent, so... Okay, Charger. That would also be sacrilegious if we had a Ford tow in this thing. I'll at least give it the... I'll at least give a Dodge pull in a Dodge, but they both have problems, so... Every vehicle have its issues. Let's see if we can get this thing started. Dang it! Okay. Don't fail me now. Ow! Oh. Come on. That is really hard on the brakes. Oh, I'm not even loading this right. So this is where I should have a spotter. Oh, don't scrape the front bumper either. That's the other thing. Stay on the trailer. Stay on the trailer. There we go. Shut it off. All right, so we should be ready to go. We'll get this thing strapped down, of course, on the trailer. Make sure we're not moving here. Oh, that's great. Yeah, look at that. Lift kit. Woo! About the lift. That's supposed to lift you to five guys. Well, we see that thing. Oh! Hopefully, we put it in gear, fella. Oh, this transmission is not in the second. Okay. 
Yeah, this thing is a little stiff on the old shifter. So we're going to head in the town. We'll get this stuff set up, ready to go. And we'll catch you guys once we're in the shop. When I go to reach out and to roll, there is no perception of Yeah, it's right next to the sawmill, so that's kind of a, it's kind of its only real downside for you know wood chips going into air systems. But yeah, here's Jeremiah's shop. So we'll get the Cummins in there and at least get the uh, clutch done on this thing, so I can take it around, and do some errands or whatnot while we're trying to get some stuff done. Maybe go grab some breakfast for guys. But but we're gonna head in and we're gonna get the charger off the trailer here. Just so we can uh, get everything started, ready to go, and yeah, let's get this car fixed. Alright guys, so uh, we got back now, I already got some breakfast with me and the boys. Uh, we're up here in now Jeremiah's shop, we're just chillaxing, having a quick drink. We got the clutch done on that Dodge, and well to say the least, yep, yeah, that thing was more shot than we probably thought it was, so uh, we got everything pretty much ready to go. Uh, we got the parts going. We did end up taking the vinyl top off of the car right now, so we can at least uh, get that repaired. Uh, it was it was getting bad anyway. I needed the yeah. it wasn't it wasn't looking the greatest. So we're gonna get that redone as well. Before anybody starts yelling at me that these are Mustang wheels, yes, yes, I know. But the in-game 500 Magnum wheels look like absolute poo poo on this car. Uh, these ones look a little bit closer to the ones that I had for FS, so. We're going to get this car moved up onto the lift, and then we can at least get in underneath it, and we're going to see what we can do with the brakes as well as the engine. i got to look, because I know this thing's carburetor is having a lot of problems. <laughs> I think it needs a rebuild. Um, actually, I'm going to get me a quick drink of water. <sighs> so everything in this shop is... It, it, like I think this is a client's car. This might actually be George's. In Elm Creek, I'm not sure, but uh, this is a drag vehicle they pulled out of a scrapyard. It's a '64 Impala. <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of clapped, but we're gonna at least get mine underway because I know I gotta get some work done to it. We're gonna pop the hood, of course, so I can at least get a little bit of a view of what's going on here. Um, we'll do a little bit of investigating. I know I needed to put a new air filter on this thing. Pick up all of our covers. That's probably why. I don't think it's supposed to look like that. Huh. <laughs> that, that is supposed to be like that. Alright, well, let's get this thing off. We'll take it over to the workbench and we'll see if we can't get it fixed. If anything else, we might have to go and pull one uh, from a scrapyard or something. If they even have those cars. I know this you pull it have been somewhat to say the least not the greatest so uh, we got at least that off we'll have Jeremiah go and see if he can start pounding on that I'm gonna raise up the car and look at the back brakes cuz like I said something's not right under here I don't really know what's a hundred percent going on well that needs replaced yeah that'll uh, can you pass me the sledgehammer Jeremiah Come on! There we go. Yeah. That's messed up. That needs that needs to do stuff bad. Good lord, even the springs are missing. Yeah, no wonder this thing wasn't working. Let's get those off. The master cylinder looks the the cylinder but well the drum cylinder looks fine. Axles, I, I knew we I knew we put ac an axle on this side. I think the other side's getting bad. The diff's starting to... That, look, that looks like it could use some polishing, that's for certain. But I did put new shocks on it, so... Let's get to the other side and at least take this wheel off and see how bad it is here, too. I don't really plan on doing any of that. Yeah, that's budged on. Okay, hang on.
There we go. That one wasn't nearly as bad. Yeah, see, that's a different axle. So, eh, yep, brakes are bad on this one, too. That cylinder, again, the cylinders aren't terrible. They're not leaking, at least. The seals still look, I mean, they're, they look dry, but they're not anything bad, so... I think we can end up leaving that. I do want to check the front brakes, too, because I know I haven't touched the brakes on this thing in a while, so we might as well do brakes on all four corners while we're here. The tires are completely fine. Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, those rotors are shot! <laughs> who, who took care of that car before me? This thing's like it's sat outside! Oh, at least it's got a new knuckle. That's good. I don't know who would have... Oh, wait a minute. Was this one of the general cars? That would make sense why its front end was replaced. I mean, the subframe looks like it's original. Okay, well, we got the caliper off. Let's see if we can bang this brake disc off. Hit the thing so hard it hit the menu. Ah! Okay. That hub doesn't look too bad. Yeah. I mean, a bearing in it seems... Well, let me pop out that wheel cap. I want to take a peek. Is that wheel bearing bad? Oh, that bearing's bad. That bearing is fried! Let's get that out of there. Tie rods look fine. Let's get this tire off. I want to see what's going on under here. Yeah, caliper shot on this side. Well, not really shot, but it could definitely use... But this has got, this has got brand new brake pads. Puts brand new brake pads on that shot of a rotor. What a dingus! Yeah, the, that one came off easily. That's that's good. Let's take a look at the bearing again. Oh, that wait. Oh, that one's got a brand new bearing in it. Okay, so this side's been replaced. They must have done that when they did the. Oh, the hell did they not replace that when they did that over there? It's stupid. Oh, this thing needs an oil change. Look at that filter. Lord, there's, I thought I took. I, what? That belt needs replaced too. Gee, many Christmas. Radiator's not bad, but uh, I guess we'll just kind of do a full set of brakes. So, oh, that that uh, mm. we did actually get a new exhaust under this thing. That is one thing. So, I do like that. Hey, Jared, get my get the phone. Well, let's drop this thing back down. I want to try and work on the engine for a little bit. I might actually see if we can't put a little bit uh, better. Actually, hang on. Those ignition wires are shot. Oh, yeah, that'll probably do it too. That that distributor is also shot. Dang it! Ah, undo the wiring harness. Those plug wires out. Let's see what the inside of this distributor looks like. The new cap. Yeah, this distributor's fried. Who who built this thing? Who replaces like one part out of this sucker? This thing needs a lot of parts. Let's get the fan belt. Let's get this fan off. I am in the engine bay. Oh, there we go. I was like, I'm, I'm in the engine bay. How come I can't take off the fan? The fan looks good. I need to get these belts off, though. There you go. Oh. Oh, that alternator's fried. Um. Let's get that off. We need to get the oil filter, so let's, let's lay up the sucker up and see if we can drain the oil on it. I want to see if we got that carburetor fixed over here yet. Oh, he's got a lot of parts sitting on this thing. Uh, can we heck? I don't really want to mess with that, but can we fix this? Well, it's not great, but we at least got a majority of it. I am not repairing brake shoes. Mm -mm, not doing that. Nope. Do we got anything else that we can fix while we're here? We can try and fix our distributor rotor. Oh! No, oh, he broke that. Do we want to try and refurbish our alternator, or do we want to just... I think I got another one on the shelf. Okay. Well, let's see what we can do with that. Um, let's get that oil pan over here. Where's that oil? Where's your oil drain? Let's try this. That's still pretty good motor oil, but I do not want that filter to be what's part of that. Absolutely not. We're taking that sucker off right now. So, oil's drained. We'll do a full shindig on that. And let's just see what we got in here for parts. Where's your parts at? 
So let's just take a look in here. This should be where the filters are. Do I have a filter in here? Yes, we do. We got a filter. Uh, does he have an air filter, though? I mean, I guess we can see once we get to the car, so... Let's try and put a new uh, oil filter on this thing. At least, since we know we got that. Oh, don't need the tablet. Part mount. Let's see what we got here. Oil filter. Yep. Get that on there. Let's see if we got another... Oh, that's right, we have to bring that down. So let's drop it back down. I guess she's gonna see if he can call AutoZone so we can get a set of uh, brakes out here for brakes and rotors, because he doesn't have any here, sadly. Uh, let's get this part mount back on. Do we have an alternator? Yes, we do. Beautiful. Because I know this thing was just having troubles just even remotely starting. Do we have a distributor? We had a distributor. We have the rotor. Oh, we have a few of those. Hey, do you have any of the performance parts, actually? I'm kind of wanting to see if we can't spiff this thing up. Oh, he's got a new carburetor on there, too. Ah, shoot, let's put on the new carb. I, oh, no, we'll be good. Just tighten her down. Filter base, that was always good. Why do you have a, why do you have a busted one here? Ah, beats him, I guess, apparently. All right, so that seems to be good. Let's get the rest of the distributor here back together. Put our cap back on. I think I'm going to try and run some of those high-performance plug wires. Let's see if he's got any of those. I have to order some. Mine are getting mine are getting really worn out. I know that. So let's just take a peek and see if we can't find any of those for him. Fuel rails. Um, what style was that one? One carb. I feel it's this one, V8 wires, but I can't remember. I think it's like overhead valve A or something. Which kind of plug wires are these? Over overhead valve D's. Okay, well actually I can just get the tablet out and do it. Um Oh, do they not make the red plug wires for that? Oh big sad. That is sad. I thought they made the red pl I thought they made the performance plug wires. Now I'm really sad. Nope. I guess we'll just put back on another Another set of regular ones, and I might just paint them red. Or I'll get them red off of Amazon or something. But we got some new plug wires right now, so we'll get those put on. Oh, can't forget our clips. That's kind of important. Just polish them up, spit shine a little bit. It's not anything too bad. Fuel filter, it seems fine. Oh. I wondered why my gearbox was... Oh, that, the starter shot. That's nice. Wish I'd known that. Got some new belts at least, so that's good. Uh, that'll stop the squeaking. Ignition coil seems fine. The battery's probably gonna need charge, so we'll pull that out while we're at it. Okay, and then that should be good for the front. We have all that stuff. Let's put, put motor oil back in it. Let's take out the battery. Plug that into the charger over here. Of which I think we actually already have one. Yeah, we have battery on the charger. That's nice. Oh, nope, 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 nope. We want this one. Charge that battery. Well, either way, let's put this battery back in. Because we already have one on the charger. It's the same thing. Okay, and that should be good for this side. But let's just put our fluid back in here. There's a big V8. So let's check that. We'll see what we got for fill level on this side. Should be between those two little lines. And you look at that. We're right on the money. 
Okay, this fr these front springs could be used to... That's probably why the car's so bouncy, but I kind of like that. I don't think we need to replace the struts right now, so... I mean, it probably wouldn't hurt to... Ah, uh, uh, that... that's... yeah. Mm. Okay, maybe we do need to replace those. I mean, we are doing a whole lot of stuff to the car, so that is true. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Should be good. Okay. Uh, well, we at least got oil in the car. We got that part of the uh, thing taken care of. If anything, I could probably try and start it, but I can't open the doors because it's on the lift. So, I guess it's just time to see if we got the brakes back, as well as the bearing. We're going to need to put the bearing in that one wheel. Uh, let's work on the rear, rear side here, since we have at least the brake jumps with us. We got new shoes. AutoZone arrived. We also ended up just buying a new set of brake drum covers. It's like, no. Those are way too shot to put those back on. The way I also had to beat them off with a sledgehammer. Mm -mm. Nope. All of our springs are at least set back in there now, so we got all that stuff tensing up right. It's going to take a bit for that parking brake to be able to engage on those. I did it on a Honda one time, and boy, oh boy, did it take a hot minute for those to come back into play. Let's get our bouncing of the parts back in here. Put a new wheel bearing in. Get that pressed. Ventilated disc brakes. Here we go. Now that looks better. Some new brake pads put on there. Let's see if our calipers... We do have some new calipers, so we're going to do that. We're going to put a new caliper cylinder in there. Mine are just shot. I'd rather have the brake system be done right. Because you know these cars are not very fun when you can't stop them. We'll just put our old caps back in. That doesn't really bother me. Because you can't see them past the rim on the car anyway. We will end up taking this out, which is why I haven't actually taken the, uh, putting the wheels back on yet. This side, I think we already had that. Yeah, we just put the cap back in. Put our brake pads back on. New caliper, new cylinder. So we'll have four corner brakes, that's a good thing. Hopefully, um... Hopefully they wash those off, so I'm not, you know, rubbing that. Uh, let's get these off, so that way we can at least get this out as easy as we can. Which, obviously, of course, is going to be very easy. Let's scooch over to here. Let's take this one out. Sway bar doesn't look half bad. These covers need to be replaced, like, badly. So we're going to pull those, put those apart. Where the heck's these at? I know he's already got a couple of these things pre-assembled, which is really, really nice. Where's that thing at? Maybe it's in here. This is like a suspension area. No? Oh, is, is, it, is it in like the toolboxes that are down here or something? Oh, I can't go in there. It's kind of sad. That's a nice mirror. Um, where are those things at? Oh, there they are. Yep, there's the two struts. So conveniently, sometimes these guys just like have nice parts laying around, so... Put in our... Suspension, so that's good, all nice and new. Kind of sucks that I didn't have to get to put it together, but you know, I'd rather not have my uh, my fingers pinched. Thank you for asking. Put that in. Let's get our tire back on here. Wait, 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 wait. Gotta make sure it's the right size. We have two forty fives in the rear. Two, yep, two twenty fives in the front. Two forty fives in the rear. Star pattern this thing on. Oh, nope, oh, nope, 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 no, no. We're gonna do this right. We're gonna do this right. No. There we go. Does the game like not know how to install a tire correctly or something? 245 on here. There you go, this this will be better. Everybody remember, when you tighten a car a tire's lug nuts in a star pattern, wherever you go. Go opposite of the wheel. Top. There. 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 Very, very important. Anything you really tighten on these cars, you gotta follow a certain torque pattern so it doesn't... I think they say warp it. I can't remember that term for it, but... It seats the wheel to the hub correctly. It doesn't, like, make it look janky. And the last tire. Put that in. That on, that on, that on, that on. There we go. So let's see. 
let's get this thing off the lift and into the bay, and we'll see if this thing fires up better. So that should be all we had to do, at least. I mean, I think I was going to... Oh, I was going to look at the transmission, but I think it should be fine. If anything, we can come back and get that done. Let's see if this thing starts. Oh, that's a lot better. I might want to try and replace the starter, though. That's the only thing I'd want to do. I want to just check underneath this thing quick. Can I see underneath this? Let me slide over here. I want to see... That starter's not looking so hot. Ah, heck, we'll just replace it quick. I don't want that thing to be given out, because it looks like it's on its last legs. Bring it back to the lift. Well, we're going to get this part replaced quick, and then we're going to head back out. We already have the vinyl top getting done on the other side of the shop, so that should be good to go here, hopefully in the next half hour. But I'm going to get this, like I said... Ready to go, get the starter out. What's nice about these old cars is there's just a lot of room to do stuff with. We might have to come back here and get the clutch replaced at some point, because I know that's starting to slip, but there you go, there's a new starter. We'll drop this thing out, we'll head back out to the shop. Okay, so I'm going to take this thing for a little bit of a test spin. I want to see how it runs. Mainly, well, let's put this thing in drive. That should be good. We'll go cruise for a little bit. There shouldn't be anything too bad. I mean, the, the Ram's right there. It was in a... There, we got that thing done. It's been sitting out for about an hour or so. I mean, right now, it seems like it's idling a little bit smoother. It's not anything super grand, but... I mean, there's probably a handful more issues that are going on with this thing than just what I was... What we fixed in the shop, so... I mean, it's pretty much riding a lot smoother. I mean, let's drop it in second and see what happens. Yeah, she's got her get up and go again. Oh, replacing those front coilovers. That was the best idea I've ever done. So we'll get that taken care of. And we will be using that good old-fashioned farm all to do a lot of the ripping. We're going to use that three-bottom plow to get the majority of the work done, so... Let's get back up to the house. Well, so we're back at the house now. What I think I'm going to really try and do is... Well, i got to roll this thing off because I don't want to break it, of course. Watch the, pipe, watch the pipes. I need to get the alignment fixed on this as well. Jeremiah doesn't do that, so I'll have to take his walker tire. It turns a lot sharper to the left than it does to the right. I know what the issue is. I just haven't gotten the time to get it in yet. But at least the car runs better. We can actually take it out for a drive now, that's for certain. We'll take this in here, and then we'll have to get the landy out and start getting ready to tear up the yard. I am thinking about doing a greenhouse idea, too, since I do want to do some lettuce, but I want to do some, like, indoor lettuce. Not not that stuff. Not, not the bad stuff, but just lettuce. Not the devil's lettuce. Salad lettuce. We're not putting it in gear or something, or what's going on here? Oh! Don't do that. I got this thing is like eight gears going backwards. And that truck's now got a dent in the door. <laughs> so I think we'll get the farm all out first because I'm going to have to tear up at least a good portion of some of this yard in here. I might do a little bit of a marking. I'm going to I'm going to go get the garden like chalk line stuff, not chalk line, but like I got some stuff that can uh, somewhat outline where I'm going to kind of cut. Okay, so for right now, I think that should be good enough for at least the markings. All I did was pretty much just come in here. Oh, shoot, I probably could use the mulcher and just ripped all this grass out. But we're going to go grab the full, the old little farm all, and we're going to kind of do some basically good old-fashioned farming. We're going to use that three-bottom plow on this thing and just start ripping up the grass, because I know this thing's going to be able to do it. 
Come on, give us pumps. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I love this old stuff. Be careful, because I got to get this thing out between those lights. Throw in first. Here we go. Run over the flowers, it's not the end of the world. So we'll do this. We'll probably have to do a little bit of leveling with um, that bucket. I don't have that terraform mod in yet, so I don't I'm not gonna actually be able to level the ground yet, but uh, we're gonna level the ground over there. We'll probably put in a little bit of a greenhouse. I'll have see if I can have Home Depot come out here and deliver a setup for one. I know there was one of them I was looking at the other day online, so I'll have the wife go do that. Well, let's get to old-fashioned ripping, shall we? Looks pretty darn good if I do say so myself. Missed a little spot around here on the edge, but that shouldn't be too bad. Home Depot did end up dropping off that new greenhouse, so we're gonna take a peek at that. We're gonna get that all set up. I haven't decided where I'm gonna basically place it. I might put it down here in the corner. I don't know. Like I said, it's gonna have to level off some of this area, so let's just take a peek at where we should basically place this. It's not a very big one, it's a smaller one, but it I mean it takes up a handful of space. That's for certain. But we can get tomatoes, strawberries, all that stuff. I think I want the water tank to... You see on that side? I don't know. Do I want to have it connected to the garden, though, is the question. That's a good question. I guess I can walk through it, so I might as well do something like this. Let's place the water thing over here. Hmm. I think I'll have to do something like that, probably. So let's get that placed right along the edge, right about there. Perfect. So now we can just kind of reseed this grass here in the next few days. Hopefully that'll grow back. Let's flatten this out, of course, kind of get some stuff done with landscaping, but that looks good. I kind of like that. And then we can get all the seed beds planted with a handful of stuff, get our lettuce, tomatoes, all that stuff, and then we can do 
almost like sweet corn out here. Maybe some potatoes, I don't know. Just some interesting garden stuff. Heck, I might even do like flowers in a corner for some random reason. I don't really know. But I guess that probably will do it for this video, guys. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe down below if you guys do end up enjoying this style of content, like I've always said. Uh, feel free to uh, like and subscribe down below. Let me know what you guys think. And that's probably going to do it for this video, guys. Uh, be sure to check out the Boomstick Club for all the up-to-date content from me and the gang. You guys already know who's in it, and I shall see you all in the next one. Hopefully, we'll be able to get everything back, and Andreas will have my truck back, so I can at least take that to go get more. Actually, no, I could probably take, uh, I could probably take the Dodge now to go get the loads, because the clutch has been fixed, so. Either way, we'll figure that out later, but. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Be sure to check out the Boomstick Club, like I've said, for all the up-to-date content for me and the gang. You already know who is in it, and I shall see you guys all in the next one. The rental. Man out. Peace. That was awesome.